A lot of people are surprised to hear that I solved all 3,298 problems on LeetCode. It's easy to understand how. I just solved each problem one by one until I hit 3,298. How hard could that be? But the more interesting question is, why? A lot of people tell me that I'm an idiot for wasting my life spending 3,000 plus hours on a useless skill, that there's diminishing returns after 100 problems, and that I'm a loser because they pass interviews with only 50 problems solved. In this video, I will explain my reasons for solving all problems on LeetCode in response to this criticism. First, solving a lot of LeetCode problems obviously helps your interview performance, which in turn also affects your job performance. Let me explain. I can code ideas very quickly in a clean, efficient, and correct way. I can debug very efficiently and know the ins and outs of my language. This means I free up a lot of time at work to work on extra projects, focus on meetings, and socialize. Anyone who says LeetCode doesn't help you on the job doesn't have an interesting software engineer job. Second, I feel like I deserve the job because I know I've outworked every one of my colleagues by solving more LeetCode problems than them. At work, I have never experienced imposter syndrome. This also helps me stay resilient and calm in the face of layoffs and economic troubles. Even in the worst case where I'm laid off, I know that I will be one of the strongest candidates in the market and can pass interviews at any company in the world. Lastly, I enjoy every second of leak coding. Maybe my brain is wired differently, but I genuinely look forward to solving legal problems after work and doing the leak code contest every weekend. Why is it socially okay to spend thousands of hours on Netflix or video games, but when I spend thousands of hours on LeetCode, I'm called an idiot? LeetCode is my equivalent form of relaxation and stress relief. I never aimed to solve all problems originally, and it initially seemed impossible, but slowly over time, as I solved more and more problems, it gradually seemed feasible. I agree that there's diminishing returns at some point, and you can definitely pass interviews with much fewer problems solved. But if you enjoy leak coding, why does any of that matter?